Right now, the Democrats hold a 50 to 49 majority in the Senate. That's why all eyes are on the Georgia runoff election between Democratic incumbent Raphael Warnock and Trump-backed Republican Herschel Walker. Republicans could split the majority if Walker wins. So let's take a look at the aspiring senator. Who is Herschel Walker? He often says confusing things that make less and less sense the more times you watch them, like his baffling solution to America's gun violence. What about getting a department that can look at young men that's looking at uh, women that are looking at uh, just social media? I actually never thought about that. It's a good idea. However, Walker is best known for being a Heisman winner for his play on the football field. He was good and he went pro. But after the urging from one Teen Choice Award nominee, Walker called an audible and set his sights on politics. Since then, his past remarks, actions, and overall general vibe have taken center stage and have become a liability for a Republican Party looking to strike down the Biden agenda. Take Walker's stance on abortion. In May 2022, he supported banning abortions with no exceptions. But then a few months later, a story was published in the Daily Beast showing a different side of Walker's stance. Pro-abortion. If he's the father. In 2009, Walker allegedly paid for his girlfriend's abortion. Walker called the story a flat-out lie, but the woman provided evidence, like a get well card from him, a $575 receipt from the abortion clinic, and a bank deposit receipt with a $700 signed check from him too. She ended her relationship with Walker after he allegedly urged her to have a second abortion in 2011, but she refused and had their son. Perhaps people would believe Walker if he hadn't lied leading up to this. For instance, he has repeatedly said that he graduated in the top 1% of his class at the University of Georgia. Not only did he not graduate in the top 1% of his class, he didn't graduate at all, and then tried to lie again, saying he never lied about lying. Walker also repeatedly claimed to have worked in law enforcement, even though he never has. In 2019, he told soldiers at a military base that he was an FBI agent, even though that too was false. And you know what's so funny? I am work with many police officers. Yeah. I ask you to put that prop away. Well, it's not a prop. It, it this is. is real. In a less resume building and scarier turn of events, Walker's ex-wife claimed he had threatened to kill her, pointing a pistol to her head and saying, I'm going to blow your effing brains out, which was cited in their divorce. So that's Herschel Walker as a person, but how would he function as a senator? Let's take a quick look at his business career. He's the owner of H. Walker Enterprises, which is a holding company for all his other companies. Walker's biggest subsidiary is Renaissance Man Food Services. The company claims it donates 15% of its profits to charity, but when the New York Times reached out to its charities, quote, one declined to comment, and the other three said they had no record or recollection of any gifts from the company in the last decade. Meanwhile, Walker took home a quarter of a million dollars in salary from Renaissance last year. It's also worth noting Renaissance Man Food Services has benefited off of unpaid prison labor. Walker, who took home over $3 million last year from H. Walker Enterprises alone, has said he doesn't support increasing the minimum wage, which has remained at $7.25 an hour since 2009. Walker also doesn't want to expand Medicaid and has said that people worried about insulin prices should just, quote, eat right. So that's Herschel Walker, the GOP's last hope at a competitive Senate. But the pathway to legislative success for the Democrats is littered with roadblocks, namely the center-right Democratic and name-only senators like Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. A Warnock win would allow the Dems to lose the support of either Sinema or Manchin and still push through their desired agenda with Vice President Kamala Harris's tie-breaking vote. If Walker wins, the Dems will need the full support of their caucus to make things happen. All eyes are on Georgia.